I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force. We're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just those categories. This is a great exercise if you like to play in special events where they pre-select categories or maybe even a hand. And the first player to win gets a prize. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three pulls. We'll start as these, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. We'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers and force hands in these categories. We have East West Dragon, Green Dragon, 157 in cracks, 248 in dots with a pair of twos, 3467 in BAMs. So we have one multiple. We need to force consecutive run, 13579 odds, or a year hand. If these were your tiles, which of these would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd build around the two. Since we don't have any white dragons, I'd probably focus on consecutive run, but keep the wins just in case. If we happen to get a white dragon, we could maybe play Noose Concealed Year Hand. Until then, consecutive run. And I would keep two, three, four, five. Four numbers, no matter what the suit is, around this two. Consecutive run with dots. So I probably would let that dragon go. So we have like numbers with seven, so I'd probably pass that to break up the seven so we don't pass like numbers later. So two, three, four, five, or a year hand. We have twos. The, the kicker here at the moment is that we don't have any dragons. Two, two, two. We could maybe do one, two, three with twos in the middle. Let's see if we can get ones. Maybe a one bam. One, two, three with twos in the middle for consecutive run. We can pass one of each suit. We got a flower. Here's a five. We have wins and a eight. So we need to come up with a tile out of here. Let's see here, two, three, four. We have a flower, two, three, two, three, three, four. I think maybe, maybe the five can go. We'll pass those. We got a three, there's another multiple. Two, three. We have wins and there's a multiple. We're forcing a hand though. We need to play consecutive run. One, two, three with twos in the middle. One, two, dot, three, four, bam. So let's pass these with a wind. The ease will break up that pair. We got a five. We already let it go. Let's pass that five to somebody else. Oh, you know what? Right across left. 
oh, this is a cross, so that works. Okay, now we have a five, six, there's a dragon, two, three. If we get a three dot, we could do two, three, two, three, dragon. Let's keep the dragon and pass five, seven, east. We got a one dot. One, two, three, four. That would use both multiples. Let's see here. Let's pass those three. So we have a one. One, two, one, two. I would probably focus on one, two, three, four. We have a lot of discards, but we have options too. We could do, let's see, two, three, two, three, dragon. We could do one, two, three, Mixuit Kongs. If we get one BAMs, we could do one, two, two, three, with twos in the middle. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. I think we're maybe going to be an underdog in this hand. We do have three discards before we have to whittle down, but we have discards in here for sure. If you would have done something differently here, write it in the comment section below. This would be for consecutive run. We have a joker, red and green dragon, a west. Three, six, seven in dots. One, three, four, seven in bams. Seven, nine in cracks. All singles, no flowers. We need to force a odd hand or a year hand. Which of those would you do with these tiles? If these were my tiles, I would play an odd hand. We have no twos, no white dragons. So I would let the wind go, keep the dragons, especially with these odds. The dragon hand in odds is matching. Maybe the red will come in handy. Here are three tiles to pass, and we have all odds in here with dragons. No odds. We're going to keep going. Well, we got odds. Three, nine, three, nine. So that's where I would focus. Three, six, three, one, three, five, seven, nine, maybe. Let's see. Three, nine. The only way to use three, nine like this would be the first hand and we have two gaps, no one, no five. So I would do a plan B. Threes, big odds or little odds. We have no fives. So I think what I would do maybe is keep the big odds, break up a dragon. Boy, that's really risky. I don't know if I would do that. Let's see here. We need fives. We have a nine dot or three dot. One, three, three, one, three, three, five. Here's one, three. Okay. We have a red dragon we could pass. We have either threes or nines. 
So I really don't like passing two dragons together. That's very risky. So I think what I would do is let these two go. Okay, there's a seven, two multiples, seven, nine, three, seven, nine. We do have tiles we can pass. One, we did get another one right here. One, three, seven, nine. If we get a five crack, we could play one, three, five crack, seven, nine. Here we have a pong though. The one, three, five, seven, nine hand would use that. We have two gaps though, no one, no five. We could use that as the missing five, but we would have a pair gap, which is very risky. Here we have a pair of seven cracks. I would break it up and there's one tile. We're going across, we have to pass. So we have to make a choice. One, three, seven, nine. Oh, this, if we were to let these go, we would have to pass a pair either way to try to get that five crack. I don't, I don't think I would do that. I think I would rather go for the gap hand and break these up, pass defensively, hope for a one and maybe a five. A one would be ideal because that's a pair gap and we can use this for a five. We got ones, but they're the wrong suit. Okay, so let's see. Tiles come back in the Charleston. So let's think about that. Seven, nine, one, three, five, one, three, five, seven, nine. Let's pass these three. We got the one. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Let's see here. Let's pass three. <laughs> Wes. So we have a gap hand. One, three, five, seven, nine. So it's a little weak, but we have four discards with joker bait. I'd say that was a, a good Charleston, even though we're playing a gap hand. So here we have an odd hand. If you would have done something different with these tiles, write pull two in the comment section below with what you would do. We have a joker, flower, east, two, six, and bams, pairs, two, six, nine, in cracks, pairs, sixes, and nines. Then we have a four dot and a five dot. We need to force a year hand, so we're going to keep the twos, and then we're going to break up these multiples. We can pass that, that, and maybe that. Actually, let's keep the four and pass the five, because then we can do four, six, nine, something like that. We still have a wind. Maybe we could let a wind go. Wind. Oh, that's a pair. We want to break that up. Okay. We got a west. There is a year hand with a wind. Maybe we should have kept that west. There's a seven. Here's a six, seven. Let's see, five, a four. We break up the sixes a little bit here. Maybe we should focus on breaking up this multiple though first. So there's a six, nine, that's kind of risky. 
six, seven, nine. I would not do that. We're going to go this way. We'll break up. We'll break up these sixes later. So let's pass these. There's a two and a north. We have a multiple and the other twos. So let's see what we can pass here. Six, five. Maybe we can let the winds go. Let's see. Let's pass the west. Okay, we have a dragon and a flower. There is a dragon hand with the year, so let's keep it. So here's a west, seven, five. We want to break up that six, though. Let's see here. Let's do six, seven, and then we could do that next if we have to. Green dragon. Okay. Here's a nine, four, north. That's a pretty good pass. No keepers. We have a multiple here. Lots of fives and sixes in that, but we're building a year hand. We're going to pass blind. Let's pass one blind. No keepers. And we have three tiles for the optional cross. No keepers. <laughs> wow. Five, three discards with joker bait. And we have twos dragons. I would just gather. Maybe we could do the year hand with bams. Or we could do the year hand with flowers. Two zero, two two with pungs of twos. We're still going to need a white dragon in here. But... Well, at least we have twos. Three discards and joker bait for a year hand. That was a little rough, but forcing hands, that's about what it feels like. You're going to be an underdog, most likely. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull three. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. If you can get down to four tiles or less after the Charleston forcing hands, I'd say you have a pretty good chance of winning a forced hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, May all your picks be keepers.